Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Thrill seeks of all ages. Coast to Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. So and welcome to this theme park newsroom update. Now, the first thing I need to do is apologise. And the reason why I need to apologise is because of the lack of uploads over the last few days. I really am sorry about that. I have been mad at work these past few days. Um, sorting out collaborations, sorting out future theme park trips. Uh, I've been sorting out a hell of a lot of stuff uh, over these next few weeks, but back with the uploads, back with the bang, got a lot of videos to get through this, this this next couple of weeks, and I'm so looking forward to bringing you loads of content. Obviously, 19th of March is going to be a very special day, Alton Towers opening weekend, um, so I'm really looking forward to that. April. April 2022 is another special month. Stay tuned in future days as to why. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about Airtelling because they found a trademark for their brand new dart ride to replace Spooks a lot in 2024. So please do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's talk about the trademark by Airtelling for their new dart ride. So via loopings, it's becoming increasingly plausible that the replacement for the Haunted Castle in the Aftertelling will be named Dancer Macabre. Last month, the amusement park registered Dancer Macabre brand as a trademark with the Benelux Office for Intellectual Property. In order not to attract attention, the application was not made by Aftertelling itself, but by Diana Newhoff Solve. She's a lawyer specialised in trademark law at the Eindhoven company Taylor Wessing. That company has been used for trademark applications on behalf of F Telling for some time. Loopings was able to already report at the end of January that Spook Slot would be replaced by the attraction with the working title Dancer Macabre. On the 17th of February, it became clear that F Telling director Fons Jurgen seemed to confirm this news in an interview. On the same day, Taylor Wessing submitted the application to the trademark register on behalf of F Telling. Airtelling registered the brand name Dancer Macabre for various categories, including amusement and theme parks, theme park attractions, recorded films, music recordings, decoration material, animatronic shows, performances with ghost and music, movie theatres, cinema services and productions of shows in amusement parks. You can still object to the granting of the trademark until April 21st. Now for those of you who don't know, what Dancer Macabre is, it's a symphonic poem by the French composer Camille saint saëns In the Aftelling, the famous piece has been used as the soundtrack of Spooksort since 1978. The nostalgic haunted castle will be demolished later this year, and a new attraction will take its place in the same style, which should be completed by 2024 and cost 25 million euros. Let's talk about my thoughts on the name. Dancer Macabre and the use of classical elements of spooks a lot in the brand new attraction. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is the trademark by F Telling Dancer Macabre. Now, obviously, like I said, it's the classical French poem. Um, the title of the poem, the soundtrack used in the classic spooks a lot attraction. Do I like the name? If it looks increasingly like that's going to be the name of the new ride. I like it. I really do like it. I think it's it pays homage to the previous attraction, pays homage to the source of the previous attraction for some of the materials. And I think that you could create a nice sort of similar story around it. I think you could create a nice uh, backdrop and atmosphere around it. I mean, if you look at the classic spook slot, it's got a real vintage vibe about it. And, you know, with this new attraction being a similar sort of style to the classic attraction, just in a new form, for me, it feels like f Telling is sort of retaking old classic and sort of spinning it a little bit. And I think using the name Dancer Macabre really does work for me. So, in my personal opinion, I feel like this could be a nice attraction. I think it would be a really good attraction. Um, obviously, there were several categories named in the trademark. There was things like the production of shows, there was the decoration material. It says to me a lot of different things. There's a lot of different categories around the attraction. Decoration material, especially. That to me says theming. Uh, that to me says bunting. That says to me decorations. That says to me every single thing to do with the landscaping of the dart ride inside and out. So, 
whether it's just whether that's just generic categories for trademarks itself or it is just um you know you know specific different categories involved in this specific trademark who knows if it is specific then that says to me a lot of theme is going on so and a lot of production as well you know production shows within theme parks so again that says to me this could be like a bit of a show as well it's gonna be a bit of a show in that building so it could give away little hints and clues about the new dark ride but there we are that is your update for today guys make sure you do like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you're new around here click the notification bell so you never miss a video i'm ghost chow keep living the coast life i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a spook tastic day Thank you.